Hey, what's going on everyone? Scott and Gage here. We're at Spectacle Island right now. But uh, my last video I posted about the uh, gun shop and gun range at Nuka World Red Rocket. And I got asked to do a little tutorial about how I set that up. So we've come over here so I can, I can show you guys how I, I set that up. So we'll get started right into it here, go into build mode. And most of what we're going to use is in the warehouse section. So we'll just take out a, a few pieces of floor here. And we'll need six of them. Three across. Like that. Then we'll start boxing in the, uh, the gun range part here. Right here. Then I love it how these the uh, warehouse walls they snap in like that so you can make you know easier to make rooms and things like that so then we'll use it and box off these other two sides we'll place in one of the glass walls right here in the front and don't put the door in yet I'll show you why here in just a little bit then for the roofs we'll use this one and it's best to start on this wall on this side because if you try to put it over here it's going to want to snap it that way and this way it can snap on the roof that's that's right there and then we'll go back into walls we'll put in these little upper pieces Throw one in there. There we go. Then for the roof on the gun range, I just use the flat roof here. Then we'll jump in here. We'll start laying down everything we need for the gun range. And I'll show you how to wire that up. But first, we're going to lay down the cycling lights. And that's what blinks when you shoot the target. So you select three of those. And I just use the boards here on the wall as a spacer. Just like that. And then you go over to your connectors and switches. You'll select the target firing, firing target pulse. I'm sorry. Then you just lay three of them down. Doesn't really matter what you know. You can put any kind of pattern in it that you want. You know, as far as where how you want to lay out your targets. You know, but being that it's on one side, it's best to kind of put it staggered, like this. So there you have that. Then you just wire each of the lights to each one of the targets. Right there. And then what I did, I used uh, some of these armor racks. I put them in front of the, the actual mechanism of the the target there to kind of just hide it and then you can dress them up however you want put whatever clothing or armor or anything like that on it to make it however you like and then to wire this up we'll need a generator then we'll need a few of the wall mounted conduits these ones that attach to the wall and I put one at the top and one at the bottom then I've got the power run into the bottom and then I ran the power to the top and that's how I ran the power up on the roof to power the whole building but now we're going to use the wire glitch to wire up all three of those targets and if you don't know how to use the wire glitch 
and I'll show you how to do that. See, so you can highlight the power conduit, but what you want to highlight is that wire running from the power. And then you want to look at the power conduit that it's attached to. And I'm not sure what the button is on Xbox, but for PS4, it's the triangle button for the wire to attach the wire. So you'll hit that, and you'll see some sparks, and you'll hear the electric noise. And then you just highlight what you want that power wire to go to right there and you see how everything turned white I just push down on the d-pad and it comes back up so now this target is powered up and you see this one still isn't yet and this one also so you need to do that wire glitch three times you highlight the wire while looking at the conduit you hit the triangle button And there you go. Second one's wired up. Then we'll do it one more time. There. Now all three targets have power. We'll move him out of the way just for a second. Now with these cycle lights, uh, when you first put them down they're clear or they're white so you want to cycle them just once and you push X just one time and that'll change the color to red on all three lights we'll move the armor rack back into place then you can check it if you want uh, and you see there, blinking red light. So now you've got the f firing range set up. Now we'll finish putting the front porch and the front of the, uh, the gun shop on. Then I just use the scaffolding to make the front porch area. And I went to the framework and then I just selected this, the full size floor piece frame with the small legs. And then, uh, it might, it, I don't think it'll do it right here, but it attaches right to the, it'll snap to the floor piece. Now that I say that, you watch, it won't do it. There it went. These scaffolding pieces are quite finicky. See if we can get this one to snap in there. Probably won't because of the hill. But anyway, you get the idea. This this piece snaps in here. But before you put this one on, you want to get rid of that. We'll go to decorations. And we'll grab a few rugs. Like that. Then you go back into your structures. And what we're going to need from the concrete is our handy dandy everybody's favorite pillar and you go over to fence the junk fence and then I selected this piece of junk fence because that top of it is flat and then you see there it will be, get on top of the rugs and then that allows you if you highlight the first rug you put down maybe we can just use that one that you can move it anywhere you want. This also helps with the pillar glitch. You put that close, then you select all, and you see only that rug is highlighted. So then you can put that junk fence anywhere you want. Then I lowered it down, moved it in a little bit into the building. Raise that up a little bit. And then the tire there on the left side of the the junk fence I used as a kind of the measure. I put that tire right about the top of the the floor. 
the shack floor piece. Then you will kind of want to set it just a little inside the floor there. Right like that. So then you can go back to the scaffolding. And that should... Should be able to snap it to the to the floor if it won't snap it should snap to the one that's over here Now you can go back to the warehouse into the walls and select your glass doorway there uh, losing my place here <laughs> back to the scaffolding the flooring put those down and then stairs or ramps or whatever you want and then you can decorate in here as much as you want put lots of gun racks armor racks you know you can put a, a gun shop and an armor shop in this store too I mean it's big enough but that's basically the structure that I used for the gun rack for the gun shop and then to get the neon sign in the front I went to decorations into displays and I went to the weapon racks then I chose the large pegboard uh, rifle rack the medium-sized weapon rack and then as you see as you bring it up right here it turns green on the on the wall so then you can just center it up and attach it to the wall and then you can put the neon on that because you you can't attach neon to the glass and that's how I put the sign up there and then here you've got your your target range and the light blinks when you've made a hit I hope you all enjoyed that I hope this helps uh, helps out some people I'm really proud of that I like the way that really came out I like it a lot so if you got any questions about anything else please leave a comment I'm always happy to answer questions or just read feedback you know or if you guys build this in your settlement and want to make a video I'd shoot me a link I'd love to see it you know I, I love watching the build videos and the amazing things other people can come up with so as always guys thanks for watching have a good one